Hi guys, welcome to Colette Kitchen. For today, I'll be showing you people how to make a goosey pudding. It is made out of melon seed, what we call a goosey. And it is typically eaten in Cameroon. Here are my ingredients. I've got some grinded egusi here. I've got some pork. You can use fish, chicken, up to you. I've got some bush pepper grinded already. So this is how it looks like. We call it also black pepper. I've got some vegetable oil, crayfish, one pepper just for flavor because my kids don't like pepper. We've got two eggs two seasoning cubes, some salt, and some stock for the mixture. Right, let's get started. Next, we have to mix it with our stock, or you can use warm water, but since I boiled my chicken, I got this left, so I'll be using it. Right, you pour it and make sure that you pour it little by little to avoid it running. Make sure you mix well to avoid having some lumps in it. Continue mixing. Sure that there are no lumps in it before you add all the other ingredients. Mix well. Continue mixing until you get a smooth paste. You can use a blender if you're not very sure to mix it well because when you have some lumps in it it won't be good. So you can go for a blender, but I won't go for a blender because I've, I've been cooking this thing for years. So I'll do it as my mom taught me back home. All right. I think my mixture is okay, it's smooth. So I'll go ahead to add my ingredients. There's no order in adding it. So I'll just go by adding whatever I want. You can do it your own way. I'll add my pepper. My bush pepper, also known as black pepper, crayfish, and I'll mix. I'll now add my two eggs. And some vegetable oil. Continue mixing. I'm going to add my pork. And mix. I'm 
we're going to add our two seasoning cubes some salt and continue stir Continue mixing. Make sure that all your ingredients are well incorporated. You can also taste. Make sure that it's nice. Now go in, taste it. That's okay for me. The pepper is okay. The salt is alright. Voila, this is our mixture. I think it's okay, it's not too thick and it's not watery. A goosey pudding can be consumed with potato, bobolo, moyondo, coco yam, yam, whatever you want to eat with, it's those. It's very delicious. Now we've got our pot on the fire, so we'll start to wrap our egusi pudding. We are going to use some parchment paper and some aluminium paper to wrap our egusi pudding. Back at home in Cameroon, have plantain leaves or banana leaves to wrap our egusi pudding but here I don't have it so I'm going in with this you can use what you want so this is how I'll go for it depending on the size that you want to, to, to tie your egusi pudding but mine I want it smaller so this is how it is. This is how you tie it. This is how you wrap your English pudding. Voila. And I'll put it in my pot. It's boiling already. is on the fire steaming so we have to wait and we'll come back if the water gets dry make sure that you add but don't just add too much water you can add a cup of water and come back and check if it is dry you add more until your pudding is ready Most Cameroonian dish is ready, a goosey pudding. You can see how it is. Wow! This is 
how it looks like. It's ready. So I've opened one. And this is it. You can eat it with whatever you like, as I say. You can eat it with bobolo, oyondo, plantains, yam. Whatever you want to eat with it, it goes. But I'll be eating it with uh, bobolo. And I'll make my... I'll cook uh, ripe plantain for my girls. So, that's it. After watching my video, my friends, after watching my video, if you like it, give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe because I'll be uploading other delicious dishes. Share with other friends and click to the notification bell to stay updated my videos this is the egusi pudding